Haptic, meaning touch, has been applied to technology since 1976, when computer company Sega used it in one of their car racing games, causing the handlebars to vibrate when you crashed. But haptic technology is used in a variety of ways, from games controllers to mobile devices such as the iPhone and the iPad. But the medical world is also keen to adapt haptic technology to their services. Imagine a patient lying on an operating table in Glasgow. Now imagine a surgeon in Framlington with a pair of haptic gloves that recognise the precise movements they make with their hands. These movements are translated remotely to robotic arms where an operation could be carried out. One advantage with this type of haptic technology is that surgeons' specific skills can be utilised over a much wider area, essentially borderless. But haptics, for obvious reasons, is especially useful for training purposes. So Professor Sarah Bailey from Bristol University developed something called the Haptic Cow, a facility that allows veterinary students to feel their way around the animal's organs through the simulated touch feedback technology. I interviewed Professor Sarah Bailey to find out more. When was haptics first used in veterinary surgery? Uh, probably about 10 years ago. It was used in human medicine a little bit before that. But Can you talk us through an operation you've done using haptic technology? Well, we're not actually using it for operating. We're using it for teaching uh, palpation-based skills. So are using your hands rather than instruments. And the reason for that is haptic, the word means to do with sense of touch. And so the technology is really ideally placed for simulating procedures where touch is a large part of the skill you need. So, for example, palpating an abdomen or an internal palpation. Very often you can't see what you're touching, so you're totally reliant on what your hands are telling you. And that's what we're focused on. Does the use of haptics in the veterinary world, does it help develop uses in the human body? or? We're now working with people in human medicine and have been doing over several years and there's there's very many similarities so there's great potential for crossover between the two and there's there's several groups who have been working together it's it's a good way to go I think. And to actually use the technology how accurate is the sensation of touch? It, It can be very accurate and I was in a fortunate position to be both a veterinary surgeon who had many years of clinical experience and also a person who was writing a programme because I retrained in computing science at Glasgow. So my, my master and PhD are actually computing science, not veterinary medicine. So when I was writing the programmes and I would try you know, run the programme and see what the simulation felt like because I would have done that many, many times feeling the real animal, palpating the real animal. Uh, then I was able to tell whether we were getting close to it or not. So the simulations that we use have been developed uh, by myself as a veterinary surgeon, but also evaluated by other veterinary surgeons. And for some things, it's really quite surprising how realistic uh, it can feel. And the other major sort of value of it is, particularly when you're teaching internal examinations where you can't see, is it's very difficult for a student to learn because... They can't see what I did, so how do they copy? And then when they're palpating, I can't see where they are, so if they're lost or something, you know, how do I how do I help? Whereas with the simulation, you can follow what they're doing on the computer monitor, and therefore you can direct them. Actually, if you go a little bit right, you'll find the ovary, or no, no, that isn't what you say it is. You you need to go forward and down a bit, something like that. And what what is the future of haptic technology? Well, I would like to see it used more widely and not just used in teaching, actually. It's got great potential when we're looking at uh, expert performance and what uh, learners need. Why did you choose a a cow, specifically? Uh, I was a farm animal vet originally. Um, I did a bit of everything, but primarily farm. And because I'd been standing beside cows and trying to teach students, and this problem I alluded to earlier, the fact you can't see what they're doing when they've got their hand inside the cow. So when they say, oh, how do, how do I find, or have I got my hand on this, you just don't know. So you just kind of guess, and a lot of the time it, it's not right. So it's, it's really quite difficult and sometimes frustrating, both for the teacher and the learner. So you know, I feel that the technology might be able to create something that felt like the inside of a cow and 
I was definitely going to be able to see, obviously, on the, the monitor that, as their hand moves around as to what they're touching. Well, thank you very much, Sarah. That was uh, insightful. Oh, it's a pleasure. I've, uh, it's been a great project and I've, I've really enjoyed it.